Remember about a year ago that I was so excited about a new proof of Pythagoras theorem that was discovered by two teenagers from New Orleans? Well, it has appeared in print, and not just one, but five or ten, depending how you count, new proofs of Pythagoras theorem. This is very exciting. The Monthly, or the American Mathematical Monthly, is actually the journal I suggested from the beginning that such a result should appear in, because it's a procedure journal in that it has a big impact in that lots of mathematicians read this journal for papers that are about uh, beautiful proofs or survey papers that are of interest to all mathematicians. So now for the next few weeks you're going to see new headlines about Pythagoras theorem and their proof. So I really encourage you to go to the monthly and read the proofs uh, and their paper because it's very beautifully done. I was interviewed for this article, by the way. In their paper, they first explain what is a trigonometric proof and what are the pitfalls of a trigonometric proof. Well, the pitfall is using, for example, sine square of x plus cosine square of x equals 1 because that is based on Pythagoras' theorem. You prove that law using Pythagoras' theorem. So to do a, a trigonometric proof that is not circular, you have to use methods that use trigonometry but do not assume that you've already proved Pythagoras' theorem. For example, the law of sines, one of their proofs is based on the law of sines, and they check in their paper, that is, you can prove it without Pythagoras. Then in their paper they discuss how they constructed proofs, trigonometric proofs that are not circular, they came up with ideas that would imply Pythagoras, and then they came up with proofs that use those ideas. It's ingenious, the whole paper is actually really worth reading. And then they explain the first proof they came up with, which is beautiful. It's just unlike anything I've seen before, this sort of uh, pattern that they came up with, this way to arrange the right triangles to form this fractal pattern is unlike anything I've seen before uh, to prove Pythagoras' theorem. And it's just, it's so original that it's so amazing to look at. And that's not the only proof. As I said, there are more proofs. So there are other proofs that I come up with, which are sort of more... Uh, traditional in a sense, but as far as I know, these are also new proofs. And in any case, as I'm quoted uh, saying in this article, I'm just so thrilled to see teenagers making contributions to mathematics that are published in top journals because uh, it's just great to see and to show other people that mathematics is not just some arcane uh, subject that only people with a PhD and that have been doing research for 10 years can contribute to, anyone can find places in mathematics where you can contribute and make progress on. So kudos to the authors.